Hello folks, so Glenn here and this time around I'm going to be telling you everything we know right now about Dynasty Warriors 9. So Dynasty Warriors 9 was officially announced yesterday and it will be releasing at some point in the near future. However, there is no actual release date for this yet. However, there is a buttload of information that I'm going to pass to you over in this video. So starting off with... I'm going to start off with the characters that we know about that are coming into the game. So you've got two new characters. One is for Shu, one is for Wu. There may be a possibility there's going to be a couple of more as well. However, the actual developer has said not to expect too much because the, roast, the uh, roster is now up to about 85, 87 characters. So quite a few characters in the game. However, the first of the two new characters that has been confirmed is Zhu Kang. Now Zhu Kang is a fictional general of the Yellow Turbans who eventually pledged his loyalty to Guan Yu. So this is the new Shu officer. Apparently he was known as a master swimmer and a very very swift runner who could travel the same distance as Red Hair in a single day. So he should be really good fun to play. There's a picture of, on, of him on screen right now. The second new character is Cheng Pu. So Cheng Pu is a warrior who served the Sun family for three generations. So really influential, influential and important guy. So Cheng Pu will be the Wu officer being put into the game now I do expect there'll probably be at least one more officer at least for Wei although Wei in the past couple of installments actually did have a fair few officers join them however I would put money on the fact that we're going to see at least another character if not another two characters so I'll be keeping an eye out for that and I'll let you know as soon as I know about that however you want to know about the actual game, I'm sure, and that's why you're here. So Dynasty Warriors 9 obviously is the ninth main entry of the Dynasty Warriors series. And it was first teased in 2016 at the PlayStation press conference in Japan. So we've known about it for a little while. Now there always were rumblings that this was going to be a open world game where you can explore the entirety of China and you can actually go around the entire battlefield and really explore stuff and that has been confirmed. This is the first for the Dynasty Warriors series. It is a fully open world game so you can actually explore everywhere you want to. At the minute there's about 10 unique towns that you can actually explore plus little villages and just little uh, settlements and everything. Some, if not all, will come with quests for you to complete. Now, submissions or your quests are going to be things like hunting wild animals or fighting with foreign tribes or fighting against different invaders, that kind of flavour. And then you've obviously got all the story and critical missions as well. So the sub-quests or the, uh, the, the regular missions, that which they're being called, are the ones that you just carry on day to day. However, you've then got your critical missions which are the missions that are part of the story which will push the story along. So the story mode is going to be character driven like in Dynasty Warriors 7. Dynasty Warriors 7 was not the best of installments so hopefully they're not going to fluff this one up as bad as they did with that. However, with this one there are some really nice things to look forward to. So players can use grappling hooks to invade enemy castles or climb high, uh, climb high mountains. The weather and the day and night cycle change in real time during battles and can actually hinder an enemy's awareness so if you attack during the night you are going to have an advantage and you can actually plan to attack at night as well which is really nice you're not actually stuck with the weather or a linear path to doing a mission you can actually do it and change it up as much as you want and do it how you want to Long range bow attacks from earlier titles are back into Dynasty Warriors 9 and I'm sure they're going to have a bit of a strategic and tactical importance when you're actually attacking people. Swimming is back which is nice to see, swimming is always fun in Dynasty Warriors. And then there's new modes of transportation being added as well so you can actually ride boats to distant areas further or you can just get different transport to actually take you around places. That's everything really up to this point that has been officially announced by Dynasty Warriors 9 or by Koei. 
I'm going to keep a really close eye on this because I am going to be covering the hell out of this game. So if you are interested, please do subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment below telling me if there's anything actually you want to see in the game. There's plenty of stuff I want to see in the game, but I want to see from you guys what kind of things you want to see from the game. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope this has excited you and intrigued you as much as it has for me. I really cannot wait until this game comes out, it is going to be beast. I'm so looking forward to Disney World, it's not, I'm such a fanboy. Thank you very much for watching guys and as always I'll catch you next time.